and welcome to Farming Simulator 19 new mods now there's not a lot going on at the end of this week so let's go to the mod hub and see what's in there right so Friday mods is pathetic really isn't it but we have one DK280W I think that's the Rudolph by Agrotechnic Nordefell now it looks like he's got a bit of an auger weighing configuration on there as well Cool, and that's it for today. So, first off and last off, we have a couple of new trailers. The DK280W. And I only just realised that it comes with a bale trailer equivalent as well. Which uh, wasn't, it didn't say anything, show any of that on the mod, mod hub. It's a bit strange, but there you go. So here we have them. Now these cost £31,500 to buy and they hold 23,000 litres. So a fair old size. It's £1,759 for your initial leasing cost and it's minus 12 on the slot count. Now it does come a few different colours where basically you can change, you can see I've changed the brown on that one there where those panels, you can change the brown and you can have it green and you can also change the cover that's it now the cover does cost you an extra three grand which is quite a bit of money for a cover or you can have the auger overload attachment which i thought that's pretty cool and that's an extra two and a half thousand now there is wide tire options i think that is the lizards isn't it yeah that's the lizards Oh, Michelin's. They're not lizards, they're Michelin's, the standard one. And then we have Michelin's wide. You can see they are quite decent size. Also, the other option you have is you can see where the lights are. We've got no protection on these. And these, you can have protection for an extra £500. Which I thought that's that's a lot of money. Is this now the bale trailer? This hasn't got any other options apart from the wide tyres. You get standard tyres or wide tyres, and then basically it comes with these grills on them as well. But nice looking mods, very detailed, awesome, and you have got hookup ability. We've got trailer hitch on the back. Now even for the bale trailer, it's got the hitch on which is pretty cool we love hitches everything needs hitches so two nice traders I haven't tried them to see if they work I haven't tried the auger wound yet so we're going to hitch a couple of those up and try those now let's just load a few more bales onto that trailer because I already loaded two two eight doing them in eight so it looks like you can get 16 on but you can probably get a bit more on that especially if you overhang on the right hand side or the left and they're on so we've got straps as well and they all seem to be working I'm not sure how stable it's going to be so let's just take it for a spin up the road because it always has been a little bit problematic with barrel trailers especially with short wheelbase we've got the hoses going on in there as well they're all connected nice tidy job now let's put the help window on to see if because I'm pretty sure this isn't auto load or anything no fast we can't tip either I thought it might have been one with a tip because you have got the hydraulics here that is a hydraulic is it not that is a hinge same this side but nothing there hmm strange 
Anyhow. Yeah, so we are a little bit tippy, which I did expect that because you find that with these shorter wheelbase. Oh, and we're gone. Right, so, yeah. Moving on. Let's go and have a look at the other trailers. I don't know why trailers are so unstable. We used to be able to put six bales. I'm sure it was six stacks, and now with four, they're very top-heavy all the time. So let's get two of these link linked up. And they seem to drive pretty cool. Staying in quite tight. Now I've got a silo just over here. So what have we got? We've got pipe out for the auger wagon. And then you've got unload uh, open cover. Pipe in. And we must also have a bit of function on that. Yeah, we have. And we've got a bit of animation on the handle. It's pretty cool. And then we go on to the other trailer. And that pipe out. Oh, hang on. I think it's always you're gonna have to detach now we have a look what we've got tip side back tip side left tip side right grain door that's what we thought but it won't do it on the bell trailer so we're low here a bit slow but animation's fine I suppose it went up that height yeah same for it's just me though I, I like them to go really quick so you're not just like yep and we're waiting waiting Finally, so let's check the other, the tip side back, which we know that one, tip side left. Unload here. Oh, so it is a full side of the door. I thought it was, might have been a part of the door. See, that should dump it like faster that way, but they never do. It does it the same. Right, so let's see, it does say you can have anything in it, more or less, most commodities. Start filling, wheat, lime, barley, oats, canola, soybeans, potatoes, sugarcane, seeds, mixed right, yeah, we're, we're having everything, aren't we? So let's put some wheat in that one. 23,000, no problems. and unload just like when it tips this side it should just dump the lot out there but it doesn't like it it reaches a certain level and it's like will it stop 
It is actually emptying the lot. Fair play. That's what you want. It does get annoying when you un go to unload and then it wants you to move forward a bit and it's like, well, no, I want it in a, a big pile, not spread all over the floor. I want it in a high stack. But it doesn't like you doing the two higher stacks. So let's have a bit of lime in that one. And that'll do. We know the whole 23,000. You just want to check the org a bit. Right, there we go. So pipe out. You see the, the side was actually going down then. It started moving. And you see the weight going into it. Or was that coincidence? Well, that all works fine. Done. Yeah, nice little oil wagon in that, I like that. Right, let's go and get this back to the farm. A nice mod. The PC version is the Rudolph, but I don't think they've got licensing, which is why it's called the Lizard. Looks exactly the same. Same old crack. Nice mod. Nice job. Right out. Well, that is your lot for today. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, I'd always appreciate you smashing that like button for me. And if you're new to the channel, why not check out one of my hundreds of other farming simulator videos? Well, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.